I'm Anson. Hey! Pick it up! Pick it up! Oh, money! Money! On this day, a large amount of money was scattered around the school in the morning. Wow! Uh... My name is Yuta Shoda, and I'm in the second year of junior high. Seeing this, everyone became excited at the prospect of collecting money. What would you do if money started falling from the sky? Wow! I ignored them and went to the school building alone. There's no way I'd pick this up! I thought that the sight of me gathering up the money was really pathetic. I picked up 40,000 yen! I picked up 30,000 yen! <laughs> Are you all happy? The one who scattered the money from the roof was Akihira Kimura, a classmate of mine. His father is the president of a subsidiary of a very famous large company called LifeGaze Company. His annual income is a huge amount, and Akihiro, who is the only son, is said to receive 4 million yen in pocket money every month, even though he's only in junior high school. I can't spend it all myself. Akihiro says this often and throws money around and spends it on his class page to feel a sense of superiority. Rich people really do exist. I only get 30,000 yen for New Year's. Hey, you guys. At that moment, the homeroom teacher came in with bloodshot eyes, looking excited. How much did you guys pick up? I got 70,000 yen. Even the teacher. 4 million yen is the equivalent of the average annual salary of a salaried worker. The fact that a junior high school student like Akihiro is getting paid that much every month shows just how unfair the world can be. In contrast to Akihiro, my family is super poor. No! It's not me! My dad used to work for Akihiro's company, but a few months ago he was fired from his job. Apparently, it was discovered that he had misappropriated company funds. My dad repeatedly said that he didn't do it, but in the end, no one believed him. I'm sorry, guys. Not only was he fired, but he also ended up having to pay a huge amount of compensation. I heard your dad screwed up at our company. No, my dad didn't do it. He must have since he was fired after all. At school, Akihiro would say things like this to me every day. I believe my dad, and I was so frustrated that I couldn't do anything. I'm home. Welcome home, Yuta. Since then, my family became poor. We sold the house we had lived in for a long time and moved into a rundown house with a rent of less than 10,000 yen. No, it wasn't me. My dad has been like this ever since. All right, poor people who want money, pick it up! After that, almost every day, Akihiro would scatter money around on the roof, in the corridors, and in the classrooms. <laughs> I could pay the game I wanted with this! This month was tight, so this is a big help! Akihiro would look down on the people scrambling for money and enjoy it. Hey, you don't want money? I thought that if I picked up the money like that, I'd lose. I don't want it! Stop trying to be tough. Your dad's unemployed right now, right? I bet you actually want it so badly. But I've been holding back from picking up the money like that, but... My family's situation is in tatters. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dad didn't eat properly for days on end due to the stress of being fired from work, and he became dangerously thin. And he apologized to me and my mom repeatedly. It's okay, dear. Let's all work hard as a family. That's right, Dad. We tried to act cheerful, but Dad wasn't in the condition to work. And all my mother's part-time earnings were being used to pay for the compensation money. And then one day, my mom finally collapsed. Mom! Mom! Our lives were reaching a breaking point. Hey, Yuta, just pick it up. 
It doesn't matter how you earn it or who gives it to you. Money is money. Akihiro came and made a day again for not picking up the money. No way! I said that, but my heart was wavering. I was starting to think that if I could just throw away my pride, my family would be saved. Here, today's a special service. More money than usual! And Akihiro started scattering money around the classroom again. Wow! wow! Come on, pick it up, you poor bastards! Yuta, your current lifestyle is hard, isn't it? Pick it up and it'll become easier! I want to see you pick up the money. Hey, show me. Show me the sight of you giving in to your desires. I... I... Uh, uh, and I... Damn it! Damn! I crawled on the floor and picked up Akihiro's money. I win, Yuta. <laughs> Poor people have to kiss up to the rich if they want to survive in the first place. I really needed the money to survive tomorrow. Even if it meant trampling on my pride. <laughs> I shed tears and scraped at the money. Wow! wow! Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I can't handle it. Ten years later. President Shoda, your schedule after this. Uh. Yuta. Huh? What's going on? Hey! Security! Yuta! My name is Akihiro Kimura. Ten years have passed since then, and I've ended up like this. That's right. I've become a homeless person. Uh, you are... It's Akihiro! We were in junior high together! You forgot? What? I heard a story somewhere today, and I came to see Yuta for the first time in ten years. Yuta, in contrast to me who fell on hard times, had become a company president at a young age. You guys can let him off. President? It's okay, this person's not dangerous. On the contrary, he is my friend. And he's a very important person in my life. Yuta! I was so moved. You just still remembered me after 10 years. Let's talk. Come on, let's go to a different place. As you just said that, he invited me into his luxury car. Yeah, I've been looking for you for a while and finally found you. Sorry, but I'd like you to keep a head count. Yeah, thanks. But it seems that Yuta, who has become the company president, is extremely busy with his schedule packed to the brim. He was even making calls on the car. I'm sorry to bother you when you're so busy. No, it's fine. To tell you the truth, I've been looking for you all this time. You just smiled at me gently when he said that. Before long, we entered a cafe. Sorry to have taken up your time. It's okay. Now, could you tell me what happened in the last 10 years? And so I decided to explain everything to Yuta. Actually, five years ago, my dad's company went bankrupt. What? And his wrongdoings were exposed. Tax evasion, embezzlement, information leaks. All of my dad's illegal activities came to light. And then the family fell apart. And this is difficult to tell you, but... What is it? It might be a little late. But it was also discovered that your father was innocent. Uh, my dad was the one that framed your father. It might be too late for everything, but... For the next five years, I lived alone. But I couldn't work. And at that time, I found an article about you in the financial newspaper I picked up at the park. I never thought you'd become the president of a company. I see. After that, I studied really hard. 
It was a tough life, but I thought I'd do my best to make something of myself. Apparently, you just studied hard and graduated from high school, then set up a company straight away. The business was a big success, and now he's the president of a major company with an annual income of no less than 30 million yen. You're amazing. Ugh. I'm sorry for what I did to you back then. I got carried away and did some pretty terrible things to you. But I didn't have anyone else to turn to. It's okay. Go ahead and drink this warm coffee. Thank you. Thank you. And the moment I took a sip of the hot coffee, as a matter of fact, my father passed away after that. What? You just said. He was consumed by guilt towards me and my mom. He wrote, I'm sorry, on a piece of paper and then suddenly disappeared. He was found three days later. In the forest. In a state of cardiac arrest. Dad! Dad! Honey. Uh. <sighs> Do you know how much we cried? And the reason me and my mother were able to survive was because of the money you so thoughtlessly scattered. The money I so pitifully crawled on the ground to collect. What kept me alive was a gift from the very person who had caused my father's death. Do you know how humiliating it has been for us to live like that for the past 10 years? I thought to myself, this is bad. My head holding the cup began to shake. And for the first time, I realized that I shouldn't have come here. After making fun of the poor so much, you go and ask for help from those people when you're in trouble? Don't you think that's a little too selfish? I could see that Yuta's anger was gradually building up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll disappear right away. So I decided to leave as soon as possible. <laughs> well then, uh, thank you for your time. The Black Rumor. What? Have you heard of it? The Black Rumor that my company is connected to the Yakuza? It was exposed in a weekly magazine the other day. And the people I'm doing business with is the most evil Yakuza syndicate since the war. Rendokai. Hey, what are you talking about? Then Yuta suddenly snapped his fingers. Actually, this is a cafe I run. Then I found myself surrounded by all four corners by black-suited men. <laughs> Do you have anything left to say? Although, even if you did, no one would hear you. He was serious. What help would it do to kill a homeless person like this? My father's heart would be at peace. I realized no matter what I said, it would be useless. Yuta had despised me for the past ten years. And he had been looking for me all this time. For this moment. Stop! Stop! And the next moment... <laughs> the gun was fired. <laughs> what? Just then... Hey, Yuta! Oh, Dad! You're here again! The Dad? What? Yuta's father appeared. I thought he died. That was a lie. A lie? After that, my dad completely recovered and now he runs a restaurant. He also had a hand in this cafe. But more importantly, how am I alive? This gun is a toy gun that uses spring power to provide a powerful action. Yuta-san also runs an important sales business for toys. Oh. Oh! And it seems that this whole thing was recorded. I'd like to use this recording for promotion. Well, you put me through a lot. This much is fine, right? Yeah, yeah. A few days later, you to visit my cardboard house. I used that footage and material for a web ad right away. And the sales increased by the minute. <laughs> it seems that my over-the-top reaction made for good promotion saying that the gun was so realistic that it could be mistaken for a real gun. Is that so? 
And as thanks, I've come to scout you today. Are you serious? Let's get the paperwork done to move you into a company housing straight away. You're tough to give someone like me a job and a place to live. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do anything. Right. I want you to make it to the top on your own. I'll be waiting for you in the president's office. Yuta! Yuta said that, and then he left. A few days later... Hey, good work! Thank you for your hard work, President! The position I was given was that of a janitor. How can I climb up the ladder? Anyhow, I reflected on my own actions and thanked Yuta. Thanks for watching everyone, come back again for more and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.